Okay, so here's the first demo of my data stro project in progress. As you can see here, the little data strobe unit, which has the letters on it, on a wheel. It's turned by a motor. If I remove this, you can see here, there's the motor on its motor mount. And here's an infrared LED and a phototransistor. And on the back of the rotor, there is a piece of black electrical tape that spins around above the photodetector and acts as a digital tachometer, an optical tachometer. So here you can see how when the disc turns, the black tape comes around and it interrupts the beam. And each time it comes around, the light on the circuit board flashes. And it flashes very brightly, you can see. And clearly this is still on a breadboard, so it's put together with you know, a rubber band and uh, wires. But if I get the motor started here, you'll see the fan spin up. And you can see the, the letters there are just a blur. You really don't see any letters. And you can actually see right there, you see the little infrared dot, which is the tachometer. It shows on the camera, but you don't see it with your bare eye. But the camera can see it, but the the uh, your eye can't. Okay, so now you see I've got my light there that's flashing, synchronized with the spinning of the disc. And you can see this blur now is going to go from just being a blur to I hope. And there's the letters. You can just see them. There you go. And you can see that it's uh, it's ticking like a clock because I'm changing one character position per second. And now you can see the letters going past with the LED flashing underneath. It seems to be pulsing because of a uh, interference between the frequency of the spin and um, and the frequency of the camera. Now if you slow it down, the letters stay relatively stable. Because that tachometer is keeping track of the amount of time it takes the wheel to get around. So if I slow it way down, you can actually see it flashing. So it's doing a pretty good job of tracking those digits. Slow it down real fast, then you'll see, uh, then you'll see it lose some uh, synchronization. And then when I bring it away from the light, the letters just revert to a blur. Get closer to light. And there they are again. So that's the first step. Next step is to add some more letters and move that LED down underneath the spinning disk.